Oktagon se konečně vrací do nejtvrdšího města republiky, Ostravy. A hlavní zápas nemůže obstarat nikdo jiný než nespochybnitelný král veltrové váhy. V Oktagonu neporažený a nejdéle panující šampion David Růžový Panter Kozma. V Ostravě jsem doma, těším se na to hodně, budu tam mít svoje známé a v Ostravě zapasím prostě nejradši. A ten zápas budu 100% vyhrát. Ten se utká se svou Nemezis, která ho už jednou porazila. Legendou Petrem Monstrem Knížetem. Já jsem tady byl toho, abych si vzal to, co mi patří. Myslím si, že budeme koukat. Chci napravit to, co jsem pokazil. Chci ho porazit a chci ukázat, že jsou lepší zapasník než on. Monstr Kleci vám ukáže titulovou bitvu, na kterou nezapomenete. Vždy je to tak trochu osobní. V tomhle případě je to hodně osobní. Konečně se dočkáme duelu Babi Jagy Mikuláška se slovenským tvrdákem Tomášem Bolem Melišem. Účty budou splaceny. Když to bude v postoji, tak ho sekněm. Když to bude na zemi, tak ho jednoducho ubijem. Ani jako, že pojďáme si na hubu a pak budeme kamarádi. Ne, nebudem. Já s tobou nechci být kamarád. Což Chris a ta strana? Buď mu utrhnem ruku, nohu, alebo jednoducho mu odkročím hlavu. Živě na octagon.tv Michal Plesník versus Carlos Grasa. Zápas ve váze do 4,80 kg, který proti sobě pošle dva muže, jenž milují postoj. Prvním z nich je boxer Michal Plesník. Svou premiéru zažil s Rafaelem Šavierem. A byla to doslova zkouška ohněm, kterou však Michal nezvládl. Plesník se nedávno konečně dočkal vítězství v oktagonu a tak je samozřejmě správně nabuzen. A toho bude putá. Michal Plesník! Grasa ve svém prvním zápase v oktagonu neuspěl. Ale je to odchovanec klubu ATT z Manchesteru. A to dává tušit, že jeho box bude určitě daleko lepší, než mu bylo dovoleno předvést v zápase s Matějem Peňázem. Plesník, špičkový boxer, proti němu Carlos Graca, bývalý kickboxer. Toto bude postojářská bitva, pri které jeden z nich padne. Well, what a way to start this card. We have two elite strikers stepping into the cage to compete in MMA. First of which is this man, Carlos Grasa. Now, Luke, you will know him quite well from Manchester top teams. Your, your day's training over there, mixing it up with the likes of Grasa. I mean, he had the baptism of fire in his Octagon debut. Came in on six days notice. Didn't go his way, but he wipes it, wipes that loss away. It showed a real maturity and experience within him, where he said it is what it is. But this second opportunity, what I've seen from him and his coach, is they've just kept saying the same phrase. There's a different energy. He's going to leave it all in there, and he's he's had a camp. He looks phenomenal, and he wants to show what he's really about tonight. Yeah, exactly that. He, you know, feels like he needs to make up for his first outing here at Octagon. Like you said, six days notice. Big difference now with a full camp. Magrasa, you know, he's a, he's a good striker. He uses it well, he varies up his strikes. But he also has now got a bit of a ground game from, from that training over match at the top team. Great off his back with jiu-jitsu, but now he's got more, more of a top game. And I think he's going to try and utilize that tonight. It's one of those things when you see two strikers come together, what you sometimes get is a grappling match now. If uh, Plesnik has done his homework, which I hope he has, stepping into the cage with somebody as good as Grasha, he will see that he's, like you said, he is now a mixed martial artist. He started off Thai boxing, then he moved and started training with the likes of Bisping, Tom Aspinall, and even Andrew Lofthouse, who you'll see in his corner over there. But alongside the striking, he's competed in grappling competitions. He's won tournaments, including silver at the ADCC British Open. That's no easy feat. Yeah, and that's definitely an advantage I feel like he'll have over Plasnik. Plasnik taking some time away, done some boxing. Boxing, has got great power in his hands, good movement, but once it hits the mat, if it hits the mat, I feel like Carlos would definitely have an advantage there. So Carlos just having his final checks here. 
Look at the step in the cage. Look at that look in his eye there, Luke. There, as I said, there's just been a different energy about him this time. He's had a full camp. He reckons this time, this time will be his real, real announcement on the stage. That is Octagon. Yeah, and had a fantastic weight cut as well. Came here very light and prepared, like you said, that full camp. Really working out for him and looks fantastic here as he enters the cage. The mood, in, mood changes, the lights change, the ominous music rings through this arena as we welcome Mikhail Plesnik to the Octagon cage once more. Now, he had a baptism of fire to Octagon Rafael Azavia, who we'll see in our co-main event later, up at light heavyweight, uh, and he got absolutely demolished by Xavier. Xavier was so on form, his heavy leg kick caused problems very early on, and then on the mat, he just ate, ate, ate elbow after elbow, forcing the referee to step in and stop. Since then, he's made that move down to middleweight. Now, now, you've moved between divisions before. It's so important to find that right weight class. There is truly a difference. There is a reason we have divisions, right? Especially between the middleweight and light heavyweight division. You know, it's a, it's a big, big difference, a nine kilo difference. And, and it's not just when it comes down to the weight. When you move from featherweight to lightweight, a four kilo, whatever it is, it's the structure of these men. Light heavyweights, they're almost like a different species. You know, Xavier, who you said we'll see, see tonight on our main card, he's a different species to Plasnik. He's so long, like, has the incredible reach and used those leg kicks, as you said. Now at middleweight, Michael doesn't have that issue. You know, he is the big man coming in here tonight. He's definitely going to be outsizing Grasher, and he's going to be looking to use that to intimidate, to find his range, and to land those heavy, heavy hands. Oh, you talk about those heavy hands, he has... Uh... Earned his, uh, paid his due, sorry, in boxing as well. Six-time Slovakian champion, over 240 boxing matches, winning of many international tournaments as well. And it was those hands that earned him his first victory under the Octagon banner. That was against Vitor Spic. And it was the body shots, Luke. It was the left to the body that opened up the finish. This man, this man, if it stays on his feet and he can catch you, can put you to sleep in a shot. Tail of the tape now. Four years the younger is Plesnik. Similar amount of experience in mixed martial arts. Everything else virtually identical. We are set and ready for our opening bout here at Octagon Prime 5. This will see Carlos Grasha take on Mikhail Plesnik. Dámy a pánové, ještě jednou krásný dobrý večer. Máme před sebou první zápas v rámci Free Prelims ve váze do 4,80 kg na tři kola po pěti minutách. Pojďme si představit oba muže nejprve. Modrý roh, 35 let, 186 cm, 83,6 kg. Manchester top team, Andrew Lofthouse, trenér, jeho trenér. Tři zápasy, dvě vítězství, dvě KO a jedna jediná porážka. V rámci Neruda Kapu za školu obchodování SK za Anglii modrém rohu Carlos Grasa. Červený roh, 32 let, 185 cm, 84,25 desetin kg na váze. SFG Dogs Bet Team po trenéry Janem Hudákem a Atilou Vegem. Tři zápasy. Jedno vítězství, jedno KO a dvě porážky v rámci Neruda Cupu za Kolop tým. A dnes večer v červeném rohu, také za Slovensko, Michal Plesní. Fighters, three round, five minutes, follow my instruction, touch gloves if you want, go back to your corner, good luck, man. Didn't think that touch of gloves was coming there, Luke. Plesnik finally obliged. Here we are, our opening bout here. Octagon Prime 5, a middleweight contest. Carlos Jurasa in the white shorts, blue corner, taking on Mika Plesnik. Black and gold shorts, red corner. What an atmosphere. And look at this. This is what Octagon's all about. Opening fight, and it's already a full arena, Luke. Yeah, full to the rafters here in this... Barn type arena that we've got Let's here. Let's call it the bionic sphere. It okay. sounds cooler, right? It is, it Come is, on. It is still pretty cool. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> opening up early with that jab from Grasher. And this is where it gets interesting. Where will the tactics come into play? Will they test each other's metal on the feet? Both so accomplished in the striking realms. We talk about the six-time Slovak champion, the boxer. Plesnik taking on multiple Muay Thai and kickboxing champion. Yeah, for me, oh, this fight like comes all down to the range. You know, if Carl oh, Wee, stiff, stiff jab. Stiff. That him early. And it was a jab from Mate Money Penza that caused problems from Grasa early on in his debut. That shows the power of Plesnik, but look at that nice left hand there from Grasa. Yeah, Grasa knocks him back with that jab as well. So both an exchange of jabs, both felt each other's power on the feet. For me, I was, what I was going to say is it's going to come down to the range. Neither of these, they're just having a boxing match. <laughs> just going at it. For me, I feel like Carlos, if he could utilize those kicks that we were talking about from his, his tie boxing experience, use that range, and maybe try and change it up and look for those takedowns. Well, if you look back at the fight the ja against Javier for Plesnik, it was the leg kick that opened up everything. Oh, Grasa looking to take the back here. Plesnik so strong. But I feel like Carlos will, you know, he'll welcome those scrambles as messy as that was. He's happy to scramble on the ground. I don't think he's worried about the ground, ground game of Plesnik. He's worried about these hands. Yeah. There we go. Opens up with those kicks. Oh, and just dodges that right hook from, uh, from Plesnik as well. What a way to open the card here. Toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff between these two middleweights. Yeah, it feels like this could end at any second. Again, that's a nice outside car, uh, thigh kick there from Grasa. And that's what you see with the, with the boxing style, the front-loaded left hand, when all that weight is on the front leg. What do you do against the boxer? You hit him with a low kick. You know, that's exactly how you stifle them, and especially after receiving such a strong early jab, I, I think that's a smart move from Carlos to move to that leg kick. Oh! And it must have almost felt like Groundhog Day for Carlos Grasso when he ate that jab. Buckled his knees, didn't send him to the mat. Took it well and trying to get back in there, but still that lead left hand from Plesnik, that is key to him. Sharp jab. And decides to switch oh! it up and look for a takedown of his own. Good wizard defense, though, from Carlos. Could see a judo <laughs> toss. Great athleticism there from Carlos Grasso. Instant reaction, like you said, with that wizard. A strong takedown attempt from Plesnik as well. So interesting that he was the first one to go for it, Luke. Yeah, it's maybe a strange tactical decision. Didn't quite work out in his favor, but and then he said and keeps Carlos guessing. You know, you don't know if you're gonna, I'm gonna jab you in the face or I'm gonna take you down. We oh, yeah. big shot there, lads. Now Plesnik piling on the pressure again with the clinch up against the cage. Feel like he's stifling his work a little bit there. Carlos was hurt. I'm not sure if it was the jab or the right hand that got through with Plesnik. They were just so fast. Through the middle with that one, two, buckled Carlos, but now get, having a chance to recover. Good head position here, though, from Plesnik. Yeah. Plesnik coming from that famous gym with the Tilove SFG up in Bratislava. Great training partners up there, including Attila, including Pirat Kristofic. Yeah, and you can hear Attila screaming in the corner. You know, very emotional for this one. Carlos has done well to recover yet again. Now, one minute, 25 seconds left in this first round. They've been rocked badly twice in this fight already. But still there, still game, still dangerous. Like you said, a multitude of experience. Needs to shine through here now. Looking a little bit hesitant though, after feeling the power. Oy. Nice straight right though now. Chasing it a little bit though. He needs to be careful, doesn't run into anything as he switches down. I think, like you said, the power of Plesnik is a problem here for Carlos at the moment. Grasso looking for that single leg, working on the outside. Look at that's nice work there. Shrucked him again, yes. took the back. Shocked straight to that back. Now maybe we're going to go for what I like to call a Russian, where you switch stance. He's going for it, but a Ooh. little bit shallow. But again, showing that both of these fighters are not just strikers. Yeah, good defense. Yeah. Displayed here as well from Plesnik. Needs that. Good knee as they, they escape that clinch position too. 20 seconds now. Another nice one, two there from Plesnik. Outside, working that thigh again, hitting deep into that sciatic nerve grasser. Yeah, it's been money for him now, so leg kick, but he also leaves himself quite open when he throws it and needs to be careful. A well timed. <laughs> Right hand or jab off that leg could be the, could be the end of the fight. Well, round one, full of excitement, toe to toe stuff. 
Looks like the more damaging shots come from Plesnik, but the recovery's been good from Grasha. And I do like the fact he has been adding the, the, the leg kicks in there, mixing it up with attempting takedowns, Luke. Yeah, I feel like uh, Grasha was a little bit tentative, a little bit tight early on, didn't open up so much, was just throwing hands. Then once he felt the power of Plesnik, he had to mix it up, he had no real choice. So after that, and he started throwing that low kick, looking for takedowns, he got a little bit more success as the round went on, but he did get dropped heavily. We see here the jab. Just a sharp, stiff jab, always coming from the man from Vladislava. And this is Carlos chasing a little bit. Like you said, one of the things you've got to be careful of is walking onto something as well. Adding your momentum to their power can be a, a, a deadly a fight ending uh, circumstance. Yeah, especially just with the, you can see the power possessed by Pershing. Any little shot, he could walk onto a little shot and it could be good night. But this fight is far from done. I feel like now Carlos maybe has settled in a little bit more, a bit nervous in that first round. Right. Hopefully you see more dynamic movement from him, a little bit more hands and feet, not just boxing against. We know who the sharper boxer is. We, we've seen it in this first round. So we need to see, there we go, opens with that leg kick. Beautiful on the outside. Yeah, you saw the tip sport odds there just as we started that. Plesnik now taking the lead in those odds. And, and rightly so. First round in my eyes definitely goes to him from those two, two shots that rock Carlos. Carlos is in the fight, he's dangerous. And could you, I, I like when you said he went for that single and he ducked to the back. That's where I feel like he's going to get the most success. It's just, it's just finding the range to do it. And if you're at this range, you really want to be kicking, doing something else to distract. Don't box with a boxer. Let's throw a tee, let's throw an outside kick, let's, let's utilize different ranges rather than just hands. Or if you're going to throw hands, end with a kick. Oh, Beautiful. that's nice. Almost like he could hear me in the, in, in the <laughs> corner, corner there. And he throws another one. Way big stiff jab there, though, from Plesnik. Nice. Again, lit work in that lead leg. Oh, he got walked into one there, Luke. Yeah, as we said, that power coming forward. Now in the clinch. Plesnik's so dangerous, and you saw the relationship he's got with Attila Vey. They really are old school fighters and still growing and developing themselves. Talking about that relationship, there's a lovely post earlier on that this week where Andrew Lofthouse posted seven years ago, these two training and sparring together. And now look at this, toe to toe. This is not what you Woo! want to do against Plesnik, but Carlos comes out on top <laughs> and, and he, he slips out to the back. back. And this is because we need to see movement here, urgency now from Carlos. Carlos needs to look to get this tackle as he it. does it. Now we'll see how the, the fight you know, might change. A warning, a firm warning for the referee for taking that. Carlos now working his way up the back. This is good stuff. Dagestani handcuff on the outside. It looks like that right side. Obviously, plenty of Dagestanis over at Manchester top team. So Gress is getting lots of work in the grappling. Can't allow Plesnik to get back to the feet so easily, though. Yeah, that's a good stand-up from Plesnik. But as you said, almost easily given by, uh, by Grasa. Needs to look for this takedown again oh, against nice. the same one. That's the one that I call the Russian. I don't know what the name of it is, but I call it the Russian. <laughs> and it works fantastically as he slips out to the back. <laughs> I'll ask why afterwards, but let's just stick with this. Oh, just because it always, get, always gets done to me by Russians. <laughs> but great work as he gets in this one hook. The, the momentum of this fight changing massively now as we have Carlos on top. Yeah, we see that he still has that outside well. grip with yeah. that right arm. Like you said, only just gone halfway through this second round. And the hips as well, he's got that left leg of Plesnik wrapped up and he's got his hips heavy there, pushing on, trying to stop the stand-up. That's where he needs to concentrate here. Doing damage is great, but we need to keep the fight in this position. You know, if you keep the fight here for another two minutes, wear down Plesnik, you've won this round. And then it's 1-1 one, one going into the third. Or if Plesnik decides to keep his chin in the air like he is now, maybe you can sneak in a choke. But I would be focusing 100% on the position, 100% on keeping him down, 100% on keeping the pressure. And he's doing exactly that. Look, he was then trying to tie that hand up with two on one. Now maybe trying to sneak this under and take the back, but the cage stifling that entry. Big moment there for Plasnik because he gets back to his feet. Oh, he's walking backwards with big breaths. Grasa now putting it on him. Nice sprawl with good hips now. Switches over for the half Nelson. Switches in. Nice Le Beautiful take down. dynamic takedown there from Gresha. All over him now. Realizes he's got the advantage as he rains down this ground and pound. Oh, he's almost in full mount there, Luke, as well. Look at this. Big elbow coming down. What a turnaround. Significant punches there. 
Plesnik is in front, but look at this position that Grasa has earned. And I say that, he has earned it, right? That, that takedown was phenomenal. You see the fear now, the, the absolute desperation in the eyes of Plesnik as he moves into that mount position. Needs to be careful of that left knee being over the arm. Big shots are going to come down now from Carlos. And the referee right on top. Attila trying to instill some belief, some way of escaping for Plesnik here, but Grasha just piling on the pressure. Got a minute to survive this position now. What a turnaround from toe to toe. Phone booth fighting to the takedowns. And it feels like Grasha really has felt the difference in that once he's got that top position. And now he's got the mount. Can he finish it in 35 seconds? He either goes for the finish or he looks at energy consumption now and tries to stay calm. We've got 30 seconds left. Maybe switch to an armbar or some sort of triangle attempt from the top. But for me, I'd stay calm, land little shots, win this round, be the fresher guy. And oh. Plesnik is going to be so scared and afraid going into this third round and tired from tired. this beating. So even if you want to let him get up, let him work for it. Let him use his energy to stand back up. He's got 10 seconds. Great work, this, like you said, coming back from a tough first round. I would love to see those tip sport odds now. Swinging for sure in the favor of Carlos Grasa. What a round, Luke. The difference when, when he got it to the mat. His technique as well, very high level takedowns, good wrist control, a good understanding of what he needed to do. Yeah, Plesnik. Didn't, even, didn't stand up and walk back to his corner. He crawled back to his corner and he looked directly at me, right in my eyes. And I, I couldn't even see him there. I couldn't see his soul, I couldn't see anything. He is a desperate man right now. Well, this is what led to it. Talk us through some of this action. Yeah, beautifully opening up early with that leg kick. Gets caught here, but then he looks to scramble, looks to make a difference, looks to change levels. These was some crazy back and forth exchange that they both decided to do just trying to entertain the fans, and that little left hook landed. But these takedowns here with the first time of the Russian, when he gets it down, and then you see the right arm of Carlos. That's, that's what it was all about when he gets that Dagestani handcuff and just wore down Pleshnik. But this takedown in particular for me impressed me. Hopefully we get to see it. Yeah, good hips on the sprawl. Yeah. And then a nice elbow. <laughs> Stunning stuff, what an opening fight here. And look, Grasha is already out staring down his man. And that's what he needs. That's experience there as well. That's what he needs to do. He knows this guy's tired. He knows Pleshnik's tired. He wants to put on the pressure. And off we go. Round three underway. This a free fight. And if this hasn't enticed you onto the pay-per-view, I do know not do not know what will. Octagon.tv, join us for the rest of the card. Then yeah, we've got ten fights following this one. Oh, another Back. right hand from Plesnik, though, just glances the beard there of Grasa. Yeah, for me now, Grasa needs to, needs to time this takedown, not be too desperate, because we know it's coming. Plesnik knows it's coming, so let, let's set it up, let's set it up. Good work there with the outside kick. Plesnik looking dangerous in the hands now, you can see the urgency, he does not want to be put back on the ground. Oh, and now Grasa in on this takedown right in front of the commentary position. Yeah, it almost ended on slow motion then. I don't know how he quite got to the leg, but he did in on this single. Needs a little angle, maybe going to turn this round. Oh, he's maybe... Plesnik would put a squeeze on there. Grasa reset, steps away. Maybe switch up and go to the head with that right kick, rather than keep going to the leg. He's landed every leg kick he's thrown. Oh, he's cut Grasa, uh, Plesnik as well. A little cut just on the right eyebrow there. Might be from the earlier elbows. Chasing him down and looking for that takedown. Great hips from Plesnik, though. Mouth open and deep breaths coming from Grasha as well. Not a good place to be when you need a takedown. Yeah, he needs to just put it all into that one moment that could seal this fight for him. I'd love to see that right hand, that right oh. leg come up to the head. I'd love to see that right kick come up to the head because he's hit so many times low. Good feints, nice right hand lands, oh, gets the body, the body lock. lock. Good position here, now maybe could look for leg reap or a judo toss. Just breaks him down there, that's the tiredness as well from uh, Plesnik. Bullied him down to the ground there, now needs to try and improve his position. Lands some good shots, great head position here from Carlos. But Plesnik could, could you, oh. oh, he's turned, he's given it. Knee on belly now with uh, Grasa right on top. Big moment this, big moment there, almost giving up here, Plesnik as he falls down to his back. I, I was just about to say, I feel like he could stand directly up from the position that he had, he must have slipped or fell to his back. I think tiredness and fatigue was in there as well, Luke. 
Yeah, I think Carlos is welcoming this little great break as well. And this knee on Bentley as well, that's a miserable spot, right? Then he tries to separate and oh. does that right leg, now gets full mount. Two and a half minutes left in this round. Carlos Gracia, he said he wanted to put a show on here tonight. Round one was a tough one, but from round two, right now into midway through round three, this has been an exquisite performance from the 35-year-old. 30, uh, yeah, and these nice little elbows are what are causing these cuts on the face of Plesnik as he just pushes on the face with the hand and then meets it with the elbow. Horrible frame and connection there. It's oh, nice. there's, there's a big slicing. one. They're not big power, but they, they cut you open. And when someone's holding over your face, almost your mouth, your nose, it's extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, and all the, uh, the teammates back there at Manchester top team will be cheering him on right now. You look at the partners, he's got Lerone Murphy, K. Musa, Shai Abusive, Jordan Barton, to name just a few. I feel like now what he needs to look is try and pin a hand. Rather than working this ground and pound, he's got great position, he's not going to get moved. Let's pin a hand, let's work on an arm, pin one hand to the ground, and then you'll open up so much more. Rather than just looking to throw shots, now elbow from here, there he does it. Beautiful work. Plesnik trying to fire back from his back, but That's he's just you know flat he's on desperate. his back, That's right? when you know he's desperate. He's flat on his back, not quite sure what to do, ran out of ideas, and he's trying to punch from the bottom. And Trust he... me, getting hit from the top hurts a lot more. <laughs> And it's, it's causing so much damage now. There's a cut on it, both eyes, one across the bridge of the nose. This is outstanding stuff from Carlos Grasa. One minute, five seconds le left in this third and final round. Of this beatdown, let's call it what it is. He's absolutely dominant in this third round on this top position. Second round was the same, and he's destroying Plesnik right now. Yeah, bloodied and beaten is the Bratislavian. But can he find some way out from under this pressure? It's 45 seconds to do so, but there's no, just nothing happening with his hips right, Luke. He's, he's, he's not even switching to the side or even giving his back to try and make something different happen. Yeah, he's really not doing much here, and, and, and it's just all Carlos. Carlos can just throw, rest, throw, rest. We've got no hip movement. And that just shows the, maybe the lack of knowledge a little bit, or maybe just like you said, tiredness, fatigue. Cardio is the king of all men, you know? Big, big shots being laid, laid down now. And the final seconds, final 10 seconds now upon us. My goodness, what a night this will be for Carlos Grasa. I'm looking forward to seeing the picture of Michael Pleshnik tomorrow morning. When he posts on Instagram, make sure you check it out. Beautiful display from Carlos Grasa as he walks around the cage, cheering. He should be happy with that performance. Came back from a very, very tough first round. He made the adjustments right, Luke, and that again shows that veteran knowledge. Also shows just how well prepared he was for this fight. He talked about taking the Peñas fight in six days notice. That's no time to prepare physically or mentally for a fight. This time he's had a full camp. He came in, he faced adversity. He showed us more to his game than just his striking. And he's finished like that on top of an elite hometown fighter, Plesnik. That's as good as a night's going to get for, for anybody making that, like trying to re-establish himself in this position. Yeah, exactly like you said, and also Plesnik, a lot heavier, a lot bigger, a lot stronger. You could see the power in the fight as well. Carlos walking onto the scales, really not having to cut so much weight. So being able to manhandle him like that in the second and the third round just shows the, the level of technique that he possesses, you know? And like you said, a well-rounded game. I feel like once he settled in in that second round, understood what he needed to do, we saw we saw the real version that we need to see of Carlos. Great wow. work. What an opening fight as well. If this is just the taste of what we've got yet to come, Luke, my goodness, you have to join us for the pay-per-view. Octagon.tv, sign up now. Ten more fights, including our main event, Kurtesh taking on Velichkovic in a welterweight contest. And this is the stats, all one-sided. Round one, it was on the side of Plesnik, but just look at the numbers, they don't lie, Luke. Yeah, almost double. I think it's more than double for all the punches landed, more, more, almost double for significant strikes. But to be honest, 90% of them come on the ground. So it was the takedown that made the difference. The wrestling, and like you said, the, the nice little intricacies in the takedowns. There wasn't like a power double. No. There was, there was some nice little movements that got it to the mat. We pass it over now to the main man himself, Andre Novotny, to give us the result. Dámy a pánové, známe výsledek 29-27. 29-27 a 29-27 vše pro vítěze. All three judges scored this fight 29-27. And winner coming from the blue corner, Carlos Grasa! 
Gratulace Michalu Plesníkovi, ale samozřejmě Karlosi Grasovi. Uh, Karlosi, fantastický výkon, vypadalo to, že... Vypadalo to, že v prvním kole si tahal za kratší konec, ale pak se ti to podařilo celé otočit. Co myslíš, že rozhodlo ten zápas? First of all, I want to thank God, Jesus Saver. Yeah, the match was very tough. I know it was coming against an opponent with a streamingly good boxing. And I faced the first round. I couldn't timing his jab. It was on point. But after that, when I found my takedown, I managed to control the round, the rhythm, the, the fitness level aspect of the fight. So I thank you. Bol to naozaj veľmi tvrdý zápas, bol to box na zemi, grand box. Potom som ho dostal teda do takedownu a dorazil som a proste urobil som to. Ďakujem vám. Carlos, thank you very much. After first last in Octagon, this is the win. Do you have somebody in your mind who you want to fight next time? I just want to fall, step the ladder. Whatever is next for me is okay. I can keep growing as well. I just want to thank my missus, Filipe, and my son, Ryan, Manchester top team, Manchester, Portugal, Carcavelos, Marianas, West Side. Chcel by si s niekým ešte bojovať na budúce. No, ja si myslím, že si nebudem vyberať. Proste, kto príde, tak na ďalšiu priečku toho žebríčku sa dostanem. Budem strašne rád. A ďakujem vám všetkým a ďakujem všetkým doma, ktorí ma podporujú. In the world. This is the best promotion in the world. It's growing fast and it's amazing. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Carlos Grasa, první vítěz dnešního večera. So there we have it. What a moment for that man, Carlos Grasa. There with long-time friend, training partner.